some of those traditional medicines may be used for alleviating the symptom, while some of them may target the virus itself. So we need to have a comprehensive overview when we say what's the role of traditional medicine on mitigating COVID and what kind of research we do. Even if it has to be driven by science and research and, and hypothesis, Traditional medicine is, is done by those brilliant individuals, but most of them haven't gone to a formal kind of modern 21st education. Some of them might not even have gone to school. So how do we ask this individual to conduct the study, to conduct the research? That's where the challenge is. Of course, it's very easy, as I said earlier, to say that it has to be supported by research, but we need to come up with an innovative way of supporting these individuals. And there is, there comes the role of the government and leaders. There comes the role of institutions. There comes the role of ethics committee and those researchers who have been doing modern medicine. In modern medicine, you need to follow a strict, good clinical trial practice, GCP principles and everything. Of course, we have to, we have to be abided by those principles even when we do traditional medicine. And, and thereby the role of ethics committee would be ensuring that there is a system to safeguard and protect study participants while encouraging, promoting science. So that's, that's what I can say. Train individuals, facilitate the approval process while ensuring that the basic principle of research ethics are, is protected.